Thanks for using Flexi Oversize or NP ski bindings. Precision mounting will maximize your skiing experience, so follow the instructions closely. Your Flexi bindings include a left and right binding with strap systems attached, two heel plates, two heel shims, two multi shims, two mounting plates, 26 15 mm screws, and the NP model also includes eight spaces for padding out narrower boots. Before mounting flexies to your skis, you will need a power drill with 3.6 mm bit, an electric driver and number three posi drive bit or screwdriver, a fine marker pen, a ruler, a nail or center punch, binding glue or 24 hour pure epoxy glue, a hammer, and a piece of blank paper twice the width of your ski waist. Repeat each of the following steps with both bindings and skis before moving on to the next step. Firstly, if the balance cord of your ski is not already marked on the surface, balance the unmounted ski over the edge of your ruler to find the balance point and mark the line with a fine marker pen. If you have a mounting jig for flexi bindings, you can fast forward through the steps. Now that you have the balance cord marked, you need to find the center axis of your ski. Take your paper and wrap it tightly around the ski along the balance cord line. Fold the paper at both steel edges of your ski to make visible creases. Now fold the paper in half, aligning the two creases accurately to find the center point. Make a third crease here. Place the paper back onto the ski, matching the original creases with the edges and mark the center point of your balance cord. Make a pilot indent with a sharp object such as a punch or nail. If you have a paper template, cut out the center hole of the multi-shim pattern and align it with the center point on your ski. Using the guidelines, carefully center the template on your ski and tape it down firmly. Punch each of the hole centers remove the template and drill all seven holes. If you don't have a paper template or a jig, follow through these steps. Align the mounting plate over the flex stem of your flexi binding and insert four screws until the tips protrude a couple of millimetres. Drill your first hole at the pilot indent at the centre point, clean the surface and fill with glue. Now place a screw into the centre hole of the multi-shim, then screw the multi-shim onto the ski. Don't bed the screw down yet. Allow the multi-shim to rotate stiffly on the ski. Place the positioned screws of your flexi binding into the center hole pattern of the multi-shim, keeping the first row of mounting holes exposed. Position the assembly by rotating it until the locator lugs under the rear of the binding are center aligned on the ski. Without disturbing the position of the assembly, punch the centers of the two large holes to mark pilot indents in your ski. Again, without disturbing the position of the multi-shim, remove the flexi binding and use the same technique to punch indents in the rear large holes of the multi-shim. Rotate the multi-shim to expose the four indents. Drill the holes, clean the surface, fill with glue, and now bed down all five screws in the multi-shim. Don't over-tighten the screws. 
When the undersurface sits flush with the ski and the screw heads bed snugly into the countersinking, you have the right tension. Position the heel shim onto your ski 190 millimeters behind the multi shim and center align it between the ski edges. It's important that the heel shim is centered on the ski. To test it, place your flexi binding back onto the multi shim with the screws resting in the center hole pattern. The multi shim should be centered between the locator lugs. Without disturbing the position of the heel shim, Remove your flexi binding and punch the hole centers onto the ski. Drill. Remove the shavings. Add glue and mount the heel shim onto your ski. Now mount the heel plate onto the heel shim. No glue is required. It's important to mount the heel plate in the correct orientation for your model. For NP bindings, the long axis of the heel plate must be aligned parallel to your ski. And for oversize bindings, the long axis of the heel plate must be aligned perpendicular to the ski. Now screw your flexi binding onto the multi shim, bedding the screws firmly into the mounting plate. Your flexi bindings are now mounted to your ski, but there are still a few things to know. To determine left and right, the arrow on the base plate points to the outside of the binding. The buckles are also located on the outside of the binding, so this one is a right footed flexi. You will have noticed an array of holes on both the multi shim and the heel shim. These allow you to offset your flexi binding, inward or outward to counter ankle roll, and forward and backward to alter your balance point. But it's likely you won't know if you're affected by ankle roll until you get on your skis and start striding out. So leave this procedure until you are sure you need it. To get the most out of your flexi ski bindings, and for more details on offset mounting, you can view our instructional video, How to Use Flexi NP and Oversize Ski Bindings.